My name is John Whitcomb. I'm executive head teacher of the Westlands Academies Trust. I'm Andrew Carter, head teacher South Farnham School in Farnham, Surrey. Schools that are new style academies have a responsibility for working with schools that aren't at the same stage of their development. Doing good. Now that's a sort of a, an old-fashioned concept. You know, that's very much the heart of what we do here at this school and, it, and we wanted to, to continue that and almost formalise that, that kind of work. There is absolutely no money. Financially, it's not good because there is no more money. But actually, the alternative is that our infant school could struggle and find it difficult to find ahead for a few more years. And so we're doing something we hope is uh, socially right for this neighbourhood. That is a loose phrase and I can uh, categorically state that here at Westlands it's not just a loose commitment. We have demonstrated for the past four years that that is very much part of what it is that we do. This is Lynn Pearson, Head of School here at the Westlands Primary School. Lynn's role is, is that of Head of School. I, I operate as the Head Teacher at Westlands but also in this curious title Executive Head Teacher here at the, the Primary School. We're a national support school here through the National College of School Leadership. The most important aspect of that is supporting schools that are struggling to become more effective. And the local authority approached us to work with a local primary school. I think at first we were a little apprehensive about it because it is outside of our skill set in terms of working with secondary schools. Having a meeting yesterday and a child came in, his development is quite behind and he's not nappy trained, he's not potty trained yet, he's got pull-ups and he came in, knocked on the door and came in for a sticker. And I, you know, did the talk about what a good boy you really get into the toilet now and doing it. You keep that up, and gave him the sticker. And we had that that moment where where John said, "I don't think I've ever had that conversation with a child, and I hope never to have it." Tell from looking at it. Okay, so what about another? Over the last term, we've been going up to Western Secondary School for our maths and English. There is a lot of work to do. We looked at their um, SATs levels and they were lower than they, we expected them to be. So in that respect, we have, we've got a bit of a challenge on our hands. Sometimes we have our lessons in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon. Um, Miss Cor, our maths teacher, um, uses a lot of rhymes, which most of them don't rhyme. Five or more goes up by one, less than five goes up by none. I think it's great. The pupils are so keen and it gives them confidence of actually walking in a school where there's all these big children. It's actually when they come here in September, then next year, so, you know, the transition for, for those pupils will be a lot easier. Very much at the heart of our remit is to support others and help them on that journey to becoming as successful as we are. This is a really positive move for the community. This school had been looking for a new building. It's not going to get it now, but the community see this as a huge positive inclusion. We've created here a local education authority which serves the needs of 2,200 children. We are linking more formally, we think, with another school. I think what we're going to do is merge with the other school first, which will take about three months. It'll make a school of over 750 children, but on two sites. I think the school is apprehensive and worried that there will be a branding, that they will no longer be the school that they are. And our aim in all of this is to retain their uniqueness, place their market niche, if you like, but help them stay in that marketplace by actually giving them the power and support of our brand. What we have found is that the, the process of supporting other schools has had a direct tangible benefit upon raising standards here at Westlands. We as well as supporting other schools and supporting them in terms of their improvement have benefited ourselves from that experience of school improvement. And everything we've done elsewhere uh, we have learnt from those experiences and translated a lot of the methodology that we've employed in other schools directly back here at Westlands to help raise standards. And I would suggest that you know, any school that becomes an academy would, should be you know, actively involved in supporting and, and helping others. Mm -hmm.